Okay, let's block the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Let's develop the knight. Let's hit the pawn. Let's hit the pawn again. Let's take the pawn. Let's take the knight. Let's take the queen. And last but not least, let's um, get the knight out. Let's attack the king. Let's take the bishop off the board. And let's attack their bishop. Do we want to do that just yet? Let's just do this first. And castle. Shall we just move the king out of the way because we're wanting to get the pawn up? So it's actually coming into the lair. So we can go here, but he's looking to, he's coming for the fried liver type situation. And his knight's going to put, put in a check on the king. So if we push this, so he loses two pieces. Hmm. Quick, quick, quick. Think, think. Uh, knight attacking the bishop. Bishop takes the pawn. Knight takes anyway, because he's got a check on the king. If we block here, bishop take. I'm gonna be I'm gonna resign myself to losing the pawn. That's fine. Because that position they're gonna end up in is way way stronger. Let's just go here. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Let's attack the knight. So come attacking the pawn. Let's attack the knight. So that took up all my time, did that. But we're not now looking to try and improve our position. Can we really see the benefits of their plus one at the moment? Let's attack in the night. Let's attack theirs. Hmm. It's got defense on it. Let's just bring our rook up. Gives king some space as well. Yeah, it's going to be doubling up. King, king doo -doo. Let's give it some space anyway. We've got time to move. Okay, right. Let's move the king. Go and hit this pawn. Let's go and hit this pawn. He comes down for our pawn. Yeah, all right, let's take on the rook. It's on the knight. Let's bring it back. It's going to be hitting the... Do we escape? Hits with a check, we move here. Comes back with a check. We can't go anywhere, so it'd be backwards and forwards, wouldn't it? Okay, let's put a check on. Let's take this pawn. Checks, 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 checks. So he either goes for a draw or I don't know what other magic he's got. Does he get my rook off the board? Oh, he gets my rook off the board. But I get his rook off the board. He's considering what is better. All right. So... 40 something seconds. It's coming round the back, round the side. If it's taken there, his knight is. Let's bring this knight in. I'm not sure. He's got a stepladder, has he? Not, not really, because we can take here. 30 seconds left. I think we might have got it. Oh, he's got a stepladder, you know, I think. No, he hasn't. Let's go for this rook. We're creating a situation. Boom. Okay, develop the knight. Let's push to the center. Let's grab the pawn. 
try not to do too much overthinking. They're coming with the dried up Fianchetto. Let's uh, get ready to castle. Spin the knight supporting the pawn. Castle. Let's get this knight into the game. Let's take that out of the board. And let's push this pawn just to defend. So all the things that can happen, we've got to look and see because the queen is probably going to put a check on. So momentary movement of the king should help. Yep, there we go. And just move the king out of the way. Now it's got a check on the queen. Let's hit the queen. Let's take. It's putting two on here, but really we can support quite easily, I think, this one. What's our queen doing? Yeah, we've sorted out that, but he's now actually attacking our pawn. So I think we just bring the bishop here and support. Now it's looking he's looking hungry. It's looking hungry. Like um it's got things sewn up. We'll bring the queen here. Okay, what they're going to do looking to do some sort of disturbance towards the center they might even go for a kind of lame move like this pushing here but one of these three i think i don't think it's going to be a rook move unless of course it's just doing it to support here queen's not going anywhere i don't think so it's one of these i don't know if it's that one but uh Funky Knights is probably thinking, I've got a flexible knight, I can utilize that, but where's it going? My god, it has gone for a rook move, supporting a pawn. Do have the diagonal facing the king, can we do anything? I believe we're just bringing the rook here. In my head, that looked like the better one, if they developed a rook towards um, supporting it. But there might be something in what they're doing here. Knight goes out to come back in somewhere. Get onto a white dark square, attacking the bishop. The time is running out. It doesn't have any increment on, so that unless they're an ultra, ultra, ultra bullet specialist, I'm not sure they'll be able to continue any advantages if they get them from now on. No, I think they're letting the time run out, which is a shame, isn't it? Hmm, okay. Okay, let's push and block the pawn. Let's develop the knight. Sure, let's get this bishop out before we open up the dark square bishop. Make space for castle in. Let's bring the bishop out. Castle. I think we'll take this pawn off the board. It is attacking a higher piece as well. Knight has moved, has it gone to anywhere dangerous? Let's take the bishop off the board. He's attacking this pawn twice, so he's getting the pawn back in a sense. Is there anything else that we want to do in the meantime? Bishop attacking through. Anything else? Maybe the knight comes out. Let's bring the knight out. Don't want to be greedy. 
just take, grab, it's on a white square, queen can not. I'm liking this. Don't take too long, dude. Come on. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay, it's protecting. Now, rook opposite the queen can, can be a good thing. I think we'll just go for an exchange. If he doesn't see it, we take it off the board for free. And they have taken. Let's um, capture. Let's hit the bishop. Don't want to deliberate too much. And they may be getting trapped there. So let's go here. Let's, shall we take? Or do we put a check on the king? Then he has to take. Pawn takes. Pawn's elevated up the board. Rather than him opening this file. I'm going to put a check on the king. He does take. Okay, let's go here. So all these forces will be <laughs> focused on coming down here. Let's just get this rook here. Get the knight over and over. Let's hit. It's going to be a massive take. First rook's going to end up here. It's going to be getting these pawns. I might have mistimed that hit. Takes, takes, maybe not. It's not doing that. So we wanted our knight to come here anyway to go here. So thanks for that. Let's get the knight up. Attacking the rook as well. Okay, let's get the rook facing their rook. All right, so he's flat down. So we could go here because we do have the knight protecting here if he does push past. And the rook doesn't have any support on. So if he does take, we get the rook for free. But he's not doing that. So we could take his knight. The rook takes. He's happy as Larry. But our knight doesn't have any protection on. So we could move our knight and look to come around this way. But if we do that, are we giving him space? I'm going to move the knight. I'm not going to give them what they actually want. Let's see if we can improve what we want. So he's got two rooks in the centre of the board. In the back of my head, that's all I'm thinking. I'm thinking, we, sh we should be able to make them pay the price. Uh, so he's looking to push this pawn down. I don't want to have a rook in the centre of the board, and I don't think we need to worry too much about that, do we? Because we've got this pawn that's going to take anyway. If he gets sighted here, right, that's all right. I don't think we need to worry too much. Knight does have a little bit of a check on the king. I'm hoping somehow in some miracle that we get some sort of fork, but I don't think that's happening at the moment. It's taking. Let's take. Just got to move swiftly now. Oh, is this? No, it's not the fork. Damn, I thought I was. So get the check on the king. I don't think there's any more checks because that's pretty safe. Put another check on. Let's put another check on while I'm thinking. Might be too much. Yeah, I'm not going to get time to go here. Get another check on. Wish that rook was there. Crikey. So if we go up, just go check again. Could be a draw. No, he's not. He's not having that. So put the check on the king. Is there any more? I don't think there's any. Uh, no, not any of that. So we're letting him take pawns off the board, dude. And he's got a check on my king, so I'm going to have to think 
backwards. Oh, sad time. Go up, he takes. He's got to check on my king. Come on, there must be something better than that. Oh, sad times. Can't believe it. All that attacking up there. And I've, he's magically got down here with a powerful king. That's not right, is it? Let's go here. Must be something we can do. He doesn't look like he's got any... Oh, what the haze. What is going on now? Oh, no, my rook's gone. I don't believe it. He's not seen it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Put a check on his king. Oh, how, did, how come he didn't see that? Oh. Oh, disgusted. I'm disgusted. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's got a check on me. That was the worst win on time ever. Absolute garbage game. Absolute. What the? All those missed opportunities everywhere. Dear. Just waiting for the big dips. Attacking the bishop, captures. So all this feels okay, but then it just went a little bit crazy, didn't it? Now they're coming down, attacking. Put the check on. Put the check on. Put the check on. Yeah, I totally lost my rook. Unbelievable. I thought there was something here. I thought there was... Either our pawn or their pawn was there. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, I should have gone with the check because that was going to get me the rook. I was looking for the forks, weren't I, all the way through the game with the knight? That's, that's the fork there. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's shocking, is that? Look at that. Oosh, dear. Bad news, bad news. I said that was the last one, didn't I? But I, I can't go out like that. I'm going to have to play another one. Right, let's go. Let's block this pawn. Focus. Let's develop the bishop nice and steady. Just supporting the pawn. Not done this one in a while. Let's attack the bishop. Let's take. Let's develop the knight. Let's attack the knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Let's castle. Yeah, it looks like they know what they're doing. They're attacking this pawn which has no protection on. So let's just bring this pawn here. They move their vet dead quick. Yeah, this is moving a bit quick. Yeah, that's way too quick, isn't it? Let's take. Let's attack the queen. Let's attack the queen again. Let's capture. So we get the rook in the game a little bit somehow. Poor dark square bishop. It's all jammed in. There uh, must be something here. Shall we hit the knight? It's going to take the pawn. 
Damn it, dude. Let's attack there, knight. He's not got that. He's got a fork here. Alright. Let's attack the knight. So they're plus one at the moment. They don't want to give it up. Let's attack the rook. And let's make space for our king, or shall we? Yeah, I think make space for the king because the bishop's looking to get the x-ray through here. That's right. Let's go on to a white square. Oh, that's heavenly. Searching for the forks, won't we? Oh, that's heavenly. Brilliant. Come on, let's go now. Let's attack the pawn. Let's get the knight up. Is he attacking the king and the pawn? Oh, too lively for me. Let's attack the pawn. Everything's going to be precise now, isn't it? Let's attack the king. If he comes across, we get a fork, but he's not doing that. So all of a sudden, they've got smart. Let's attack the bishop. All of a sudden they got smart. Didn't get didn't get that fork, did we? Let's put a check on the king. Shall we attack the bishop and the knight? He's got defences for everything, hasn't he? Let's attack the bishop. Does that cause some complication for them? I think it does, doesn't it? So we'll get the rook. Oh, nice one. All right, so do we just hang for hang on here now? Let's get the king across. King across. King across. And that should be all she wrote, shouldn't it? Shall we push? Push this and put a check on the king. And put another check on the king. If we do this, he's going to get another pass pawn, isn't he? Yep, right. Push a pawn on the king here. Oh, we, we had it, but now it's turned into a draw. This is not good, is it? I'm not going out like that. I'm playing another one. This is the last one now. Okay. Let's go. Pushing through the center. Still staying with the same format. Four minutes. Let's just come here. Shall we x-ray through to the king? And bring the knight up, protecting the bishop. I'm going to castle, just don't want to make it any complicated than it needs to be. Still have the x-ray through to their king. And now we can x-ray through to their queen. Not that it means a right lot, but you know. Yeah, so the queen's moved off of that. So I'm actually going to just hit the bishop. What does he really want to do? Does he actually want to take the knight or is he just dancing? Nope. Right, let's go with the queen. Attacking the weak pawn here. Do we have anything supporting? No, because it looks like the bishop's going to be taking this off. Sure, we don't have any x-rays through, but we can look to double the pawns and get a pawn off the board.
obviously the bishop is coming here so that circumvents that but the fault process goes if he doesn't do that then we can take the pawn takes and we get the pawn looks like the opponents left the game and that is not the type of game that I want to be leaving on is it really what is there to be leaving claim victory 